And it, we have, again, talked pretty thoroughly on these setups and how they are going to play out. I kind of like the Druid. I'm, I'm warming up to the idea a little bit here. That I, pet is very nice, too. I do like the Druid, too, but as you mentioned, they need to have a pet. Oh, there it is. There it appeared. All right. Just a little bit of of lag there. The problem All with right. this full Mongo setup is it's a, there's not a lot of synergy. Like, they're good classes, but there's not a whole lot of synergy. That's my issue right. with it. Yeah, I fully agree with that. And especially, you're going to spend the hero BGing a lot. The Sorcerer... Is at least some sort of mind spec as it keeps a yellow pet. So it doesn't do a significant amount of damage either. That really leaves you having to have the Valk with Celerity do all the damage. And they've begun. Dark Horses will right, push Dark Horses in. in, and they got a Mez off. Uh, the Druid is Mezed already, and Al Jazeera is taking a lot of heat. They've managed to demez well, and they managed to peel the champion too. Nice peel there, but he's getting counter peeled. The savage is sticking the hero and power tapping him. Okay, I see what his game is there. The uh, the sork is trying to cast a demez on his pet, but is just being held amnesia right now. Very smart nicely, play from the support from Dark Horses. Nicely played by the healer there. Gavin's gonna pull off and heal. The problem is when this Valk pulls off to heal like this, he's a lot of their damage. Probably their exclusive, uh, exclusively their damage. Their Sork is out. losing all of his power to power leak right now. And yeah. Not casting anything. The healer is getting locked down nicely by the Scald. And Scalds do some considerable damage now. It's no longer a, a purely rupting class. They can, they, can, they can output some damage. Not to mention the champ debuffs are a real pain in the ass for, uh, for playing a support. He's mezzed out, but... Uh, I think There's that was a Zephyr a on the mess. hero, and Al Jazeera is taking serious damage from the Savage. Getting oh. rock uh, he ranked here. five, he's alright. Played by him. As we mentioned, the Druid pet was beating on the AUG, but unfortunately decided to put up its blade turn ability and lagged <laughs> off. <laughs> there it goes again. Yeah, the Druid's free. Aug he's getting some nice shoes Dark Horses. I think Full Mongo is doing a much better job than the last fight of controlling this fight. And I think that's their game plan, is they're going to need to establish control and then slowly work things down with the Valk. Um, yeah. There's not a lot of squishy targets for them to kill. I think the Champ is probably their best bet. Um, maybe the Bard. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, in... Captain Kangaroo is spending too much time just camping BG and not peeling. You know, no. not just snaring and moving. Well, their Sorcerer is, in a, is just getting a whole world of hate shown on him there and uh, I mean at some point I think you have to have him move away and, and get some get repositioned in the fight there'll be a Zephyr off on the bard it looks like for Dark Horses um, and he's doing an excellent job of just making this Aug Healer's this, life miserable the, the Aug Healer for Dark Horses is still getting mauled on by this bear alpha he has not figured out how to deal with it <laughs> no they need to root that or at the very least snare it off him so he can get a bit of space Probably yelling considerably. I know I would be. The Bard for Dark right, The Aug like... for Full Mongo is free right now and able to get a lot of heals off. But unfortunately, not able to demez Gavin. Alright, there, Gavin's free now. Savage still just interrupting this Sork. So I, I well. don't think the hero can leave him. That's, that Savage is the damage is just too big. Uh, and it, nice. if he, he is, right now, the Savage is snared, and so the Sork should move. And there you go, finally. But he stopped to cast two feet from the Savage, and he's going to get caught again. Well, Gavin is doing some excellent work on this bard, though. Look at this. He's not. Uh, he's uh, certainly putting in more damage than he was in the last uh, fight. The Sork is now free, totally. Yeah, it's nice messes on out. the tanks. And the oh, that's a phase shift. Phase shift for Dark Horses just from pets. Uh, uh, yeah, Al Jazeera sauce. is going to go down here. Yep, yeah, he's down. If they're going to PR him, though. I don't know that that's the end of the world for them. No, it's not, but it is definitely an issue. The Bard oh, for Dark Horses is free. Oh, that's an issue. The Aug Healer's Mez, that's an issue. And the Bard is free for Dark Horses. That was right. a really nice sauce, actually. I think that that was... Uh, a... It was huge for them. If they win, that was the that was the game changer. That was your... All right, the Bard is now mezzed out by the Sork. Gavin's doing a nice job of flitting between healing and... Guessing, but uh, I mean, you did mention that the 
Sork dying is not that big of an issue, but the issue with it is he lost his pet, which was a significant yeah. amount of the damage he had been doing. Although they're gonna they're gonna take down the Aug healer, maybe? No, he's still got rank five up. But he's had that pet on him for a, a long second time. sauce out now. The Aug is still at five percent. Ooh, there's oh, the druid going down too. Oh, nice peel by the hero. They've they've yeah. spread this fight out a little bit on full Mongo, which is I think working to their advantage. Yeah. Although the sorcerer is just still getting stuck. Um, and they shifted the Savage onto the Healer, which uh, I'm not sure if he's used his defensive RAs yet, but uh, hasn't. That might not be the most effective use of the Savage's time. Uh, nice part, nice I, peel there. Another part of the issue of Gavin going to heal so much is that he's trading the ability to interrupt, say, the Bard or the Druid or the Aug Healer for his heals, which is... A significant downgrade and also he's there he seems to be their only damage and if he's pulling back to heal oh here comes the sork he's open but he's got those yeah. champ debuffs on him and you can see the effectiveness of those um and this fight is actually kind of strange it's almost a stalemate now as neither the group sork is, really... is probably going to go down here no uh, bg got there just BG. in time i think they're being really good with the bgs have to say that gavin is in on the bard again. I know his abilities are down. The druid is free. He's gonna get zopeted, but uh well, those are actually going on strawberry, my mistake. That's oh, the Dune is going to go down horses. here. He's stunned. I know his oh, rank five. No, is nice down. heals. Wow. Nice heals. Here's and an there's issue the PG. Odoon and the Sork standing oh, no. right next to each other as the tanks move two feet That's... and can hit both but of them. But look he he was able to heal him well, and, and yeah, that's the druid is probably going to go down here. The scald is making his life absolutely miserable, unless they're able to grab a heal on him. All right, Gavin they is separate off well. the bard, so the bard will be free. Looks like the druid is going to go down, and that might be the end for them. Nicely played, um, unless they can get a res on him, and they may very well. Oh, there's the PR, so they're right back in it. They do have those two PRs for sustain. But if that sword goes down again, they'll have to auto, they'll have to uh, castable rest right. him. Looks like he will, he as yeah. Captain Kangaroo is mezzed out. He won't make it there in time. Yeah, nicely sword played. Down. They converge on him nicely, and the support looks to be free. Oh, there's the mez on Gavin. That might be the straw that broke the camel's back. No pun intended with Al Jazeera, but uh, we are. I think we're witnessing the end of the beginning of the end. Or full Mongo, as Gavin's not rooted. They're doing a nice job of CCing him, actually. As much as you can heal on a Valk, you don't want to be standing there CC'd. You know, he'll res him, but... Well, you got that off. Nicely, nicely done by him. And hey, we're kind of seeing uh, weakness here in full Mongo's lineup of not having those sauces, because the two sauces really saved Dark Horses when they were in a lot of trouble. Well, they also have very little damage, so they're not really able to capitalize on any opportunities. And you can see that they're just kind of slowly being ground down. Um, as they're not getting CC out on the support, they're not putting any pressure. The hero's down, and, th and this is likely over. Wow. Yeah. Looks like looks just Gavin alive right now. I think Dark oh, Horse said that. Oh, they're as well. Of... What's that? They're all... No. I was just saying their AUG was alive, but it doesn't okay. matter. It's academic yeah. at this point. Uh, Dark Horses had, a, I would say, a poor start to that fight, but they recovered nicely. That sauce was really, really good. I feel like they were in a bit of trouble before that, but uh, they managed to pick it up and eventually deal with it. And uh, I don't imagine their AUG healer is particularly happy with the pet being on him the entire fight, but uh, they la vie, probably. Yeah. <laughs> is... Yeah, as you were going to say, for a green pet to stay on somebody a whole fight against tanks is very surprising. The Savage could easily kill that. One or two shots, so... They might need to look at that footage and, and think about... Uh, they had fought a group with a bit more damage, what the ramifications of letting that pet run around would be. 